suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating kryptonite desire set my heart of fire heart of fire set my heart of fire Here in the action here, the grand finals back in line here on the first map for the bracket reset. We're actually going to change up the scoring at the top. Since this is a bracket reset, this is not a 2-2 two to two series anymore. We are now back at zero maps apiece. Guardians Gaming, well in the driver's seat, able to leave and walk away with their money. All they had to do was win three maps. And they just couldn't get it done. Yeah, they, they, they really couldn't. And I'd be surprised to see them now pull out this next series. I think that momentum for Darkest Hour, if they wanted to go home, uh, they would have let up in that last series. Clearly they're not, so I, I can just see them you know, putting it together here and taking this one. But I mean, we'll find out now they're down 3 to 5. We're going to switch over to Guardians Gaming and see what they can do together. And as I say that, employee goes down, but we will switch over to Queen who has the sniper. As Guardians Gaming, they, I, I'm, I'm curious how this game's gonna go. Obviously, they have the lead right now. So far, the shots seem on point, uh, at least by Queen, but I mean, they gotta be frustrated. They have to be frustrated because right now you gotta think they should be done. They should be holding out the black. They should be walking out of here with their cash, and now they gotta they gotta rope themselves into potentially uh, three to five more maps, uh, depending on what happens here. Yeah, and I completely agree with you. That's, that's a bit demoralizing as you get closer to that. that the end of that pick game, they were up, ready to take that, and now, they, again, we're hearing Scarvane just letting out a couple screams as he's taking a sniper and hitting snipes, and, and they're building that momentum. He just said he's not missing with the snipe, so let's see if he makes that um, a fact. I love the confidence right now. I mean, when you when you reset the bracket, how do you not have all the confidence in the world? Look at that. Connecting with the body shot there, getting the killing spree. He is absolutely on fire right now. Yeah, and I'm waiting to see if the Guardians game back out, but now they're a little bit split up. He's going to have to find his teammate. He doesn't get that body shot. He'll wear that in the next 10 oh. seconds. We're going to have the snipe dropping. He was able to throw that one off, yep. but I think we'll see the sniper being picked up. Now maybe both by M and Queen if they are aware that there's a dropping and it looks like M is going to steal Darkest Hour's sniper. Hopefully be able to Let's see where he's gonna try and take the sniper here into that gold spot. Trying to go for the quick picks and he just sends him right <laughs> off the main cannon. Another man goes sailing into the into another dimension for that one. The sniper actually made the jump all the way across the man cannon too, so they did regain control of it on side of him. now body shot and finishes it off. Look at this though, dark darkest hour. It seems that their shots are on point, but this is you know, they're not running away with the game, still neck and neck right now. Yeah, these games have all been close to I mean, definitely noticed that. And now you have 11 10. Let's hit the first man cannon snipe. He does hit the body shot, which is important one, so he can clean up that kill. Beautiful plays coming out of Scarvane. Now looking down the man cannon for this one. 
doesn't see it, so he's gonna go get top control, knowing that he didn't get those kills. And now he's checking R3 and L3. He sees two players. He does have display underneath. He's gonna pop up in a minute. Come from behind. He also has the rockets. He's neither team, team two been paying attention to, and he's gonna pick up a couple kills. So now they swung this. 15-11 in their favor. The biggest lead I believe we've seen in this game so far. And let's jump on with this play who has one rocket left. It's a rocket launcher. Now, if he's gonna use this right now, now is the time to do so. That can give them even a bigger lead than they have already. Already the five kill lead. Display and Scarvan are really feeling themselves at this point of the tournament. They already know. I, I think they already can smell. They, 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 oh, they, yeah, they can smell the victory. I mean, they, they, they smelled it getting off the elevator. I mean, let's let's be real. Yeah, and they're they're both still laser focused. I mean, just get display. He's licking his lips. He's he's really into this game right now. He's ready to take home his first place prize and nothing else. And I think that's you know the mindset of both of them after being able to turn around that first series. And I might have this first map, but this kill. Scarvane is very and to go down, he stays alive in there, he's able to make it out alive, still up by 5, and that keeps being a problem, they do end up finding him though, and he gets taken down, and so they, they were able to, now the new snipers is going to be spawning, I believe that is Scarvane, oh, I thought he was taking the sniper, but no, they're just going to take top control back if they pull out this kill now, be up by 6 kills, and really moving in the direction of taking game one of our second series in the great grand finals and there it is up seven kills i don't know if guardians gaming is going to be able to come back from this yeah anyway. the frustration might be setting in uh just shoot to the fullest extent right now it looks like display looking for that next shot not able to make it happen Ooh. Backing up a little bit now. Look like they're one man went across the man cannon. There goes a cleanup. There's going to be two kills now separating Darkest Hour from taking map one here in the series. And I believe uh, that's... It, didn't they take the first map in the previous one, I think, uh, as well? So uh, they can set things up here really nicely if they walk away. And they do. 25 to 14. Domination on that first map. Narrows. And, man, that was a quick Narrows game, actually. Yeah, that was very quick. And, I, I again, I mean... They're hyped up, like they're they're ready to go. They want to take home the cash, and the first place prize, and just to say they came here for a reason. And yeah. I, think, I think we're seeing that that was a quick game, and again, as we're late in the bracket, it just turns into um, faster games, faster gameplay, not as much sitting around because they've been playing all day, and and they want to win these matches and they want to try to be aggressive, and I, I think we're seeing that these games are going a little bit faster now in the second series and going to get the score updated now as yep. the Darkest Hour goes up 1-0 on Guardians Gaming. And they came from the loser bracket. I, everyone be aware they have come out of the loser bracket to make this run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are extending this series out as pretty much as far as we can take it almost. Right here in the second portion of these grand finals. You always have to remember, team that makes it through the loser's bracket has to fight. The team that won the winner's bracket, they have to beat them twice. So it's always so hard to do when you have a team that's super dominant, running all the way through a winner's bracket, never dropping a game, uh, and then having to meet a team who fought, clawed their way, you know, blood, sweat, and tears all the way through loser's bracket, only to get destroyed in the grand finals and feel like they never even had a chance. But, you know, it, it, when it comes to this tournament right now, it, it seems that Darkest Hour, you know, they've been waiting to get, they've been biding their time all day long for this revenge and they're I know that they're the happiest ones in the room right now that they get to play this match not just because they're in the finals but because of who they're playing against I mean how poetic would it be if the team that knocked them in the loose bracket they come back and double beat them in the grand finals I mean this is just poetic yeah that's that's exactly what they want to do you know you can see the revenge that they want in their faces both still completely zoned in now up three to two but I think this may end up being a little bit of a game of narrows, and if I'm not mistaken, the last series of Guardians Gaming did it take the Heretics there. I think they need to have some backup on that, but I think they did take this map. So if Darkest Hour does end up taking this, I think we might see a sweep. I mean, they they just seem like they're in their zone, both players, and like you're saying, they want to be back here and just prove that you know that was a fluke that we got knocked down to the bracket. We're here to win. Yep. Display now. 
looking for the shots there and does get him taken out. No, though, right here you have Guardians just with that minor lead. I believe that this was the map that Guardians was able to uh, defeat Darkest Hour on in that last bracket uh, that we were that we had the first reset on. So, I mean, let's see if Darkest Hour can pull it out and uh, come back a little bit, replaying this map yet again, just so close to the first one. Oh, oh boy, he almost was able to stay alive long enough there, but it didn't look like he could. Yeah, and so Scarvan's gonna jump in here, try to clean up a couple. Ends up taking one down, down to nine, to seven. He can't get the beat down. He does get the beat down, so it's ten to eight, and Display's pushing in for that next kill and gets the out BR. Now they're both gonna be looking for those spawners, but Scarvan gets taken down. Now have an 11 to 9 match. You'll notice Display checking Scarvan's screen to make sure that when he's sneaking around these corners, he's not giving up his position and also waiting for Scarvan to help out. And Looks like Scarvan got stuck in another head position, taking down himself, but this place stays alive, gets him that spawn inside the base, and to now flank on these two players as Scarvan takes out double kill, but there's nothing his way, so he's gonna have to back down. Now well, Scarvan looked like he was trying to sneak around, he runs right into a brick wall right there, getting taken down, and now still only one kill lead here for Darkest Hour. This is going to be huge because as we now head to the second half of this map. Oh, look at that. Oh, the double kill by Queen. What a perfect time, a perfect place, perfect time for her right there to be in to pick up that double kill here as it sets them up now with that one kill lead. Now, oh, a couple shots in the back. Going to see if his their teammate can clean that shot up. And, he, and it does look like employee was able to get that kill. So now with the two kill lead, I mean... We could uh, potentially see Guardians just dominate this map again, but I mean, don't count out Darkest Hour yet. They have all the momentum. Yeah, and, and you see that right now. I mean, this is such a close game that we have here. It's now 18 to 16 in Guardians gaming. It's been neck and neck. I think this is very important to get that peak in full. And Display was able to take down one of them. I think they're both going to jump out. Oh, Garvey that's a big kill. That kill. 18, 18. Again, this is a huge map. It's either going 1 1 in the map count. 2-0 to Darkest Hour. Yep. These kills are going to really give them that edge. And they had them all the spawn. He ends up getting taken out. That's a big, that's a big kill there. Guardians turn this one around. Let's see. Oh, and that's a trade-off tied at 20 now. This is... This is really huge. I mean, th these next five kills are so crucial for both these teams, I can't even begin to uh, explain. I mean, right now, you, it, it comes down to the difference of Darkest Hour, one map away from victory, or Guardians just tying things up and essentially taking that first map away from Darkest. So, who's gonna come out on top here? Darkest already has the advantage. Look at that, just barely missing on that stick. But two kills separate Darkest Hour from taking the two map lead. Yeah, it's so Again, need just two kills to try to put these in, but you know they're playing it like... That's going to be 23, 23, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Next now. kill wins. And he picks up a double kill. It is now 20. He does have the high ground on him. Nope. He picks up the kill. It's now 1-2-1 one, one in the series. Not giving up just yet. Is We're going to five gaining. maps. There's just no way around it. We're at Destiny maps. wants <laughs> us to have ten <laughs> maps in this series, and it's just not. There's no way around it. It's just not yeah, happening. I, I mean, D we, get, we have get comfy. I think the last couple series gone. Three games. Three games. Three games. Three games. Three games. Five, and then maybe another five. So we'll see. I can't believe what this game. <laughs> this is so so bizarre. Dar like Darkest Hour. Had just the, the momentum just keeps shifting back and forth between these two teams. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, we're 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 going to see this go the distance. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I I, I agree with you. I think it's it's destiny that this goes to game five, twenty four twenty five. Yeah. I, I I mean, if I had to make a prediction right now with how things are going, game five, twenty four. See, I 25. don't want that to happen because it, you know the people that left, they're gonna wish that they had stayed for that. Just <laughs> that's true. just for that reason, like that's something that you do not want to miss at all. I mean. A big shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I mean, we we had peaked, I believe, 200, 250 viewers or more at one point. So you guys that are watching right now for this grand finals, you guys, you know, sit tight. We have still got a few more maps at least to bring you guys. Tied now at one one in this bracket reset. Yeah, and I mean, there's still there's still people here watching at the event. So it just shows the love for Halo. People are planning on sleeping over if they have to. <laughs> they want to see yep. this series and. 
again, we're, we're most likely going to a game five, so definitely, you know, stay here with us, and we're going to be jumping on Construct, and I'm actually going to start with being in this map um, now that the series is tied up, do, so we'll see what they do off do, the break. Doesn't matter, prediction-wise, who wins this map. Frick or Frack could win. Doesn't matter. Either way, uh, you know, whoever wins this map, the other team will win the next map. We already know that that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Alright, either way, I will, uh, Brian, I broke Brian, so I'm going to just take over for a minute. Um, Queen now going to take the lead here uh, for the team here and uh, hold down, maintain that spot in lobby as they look, uh, both these teams looking to get that opening pickup for Rockets. I thought that was a double kill there, it looked like, but I believe there was only, oh, it was the double kill display with a perfect insta split there, and now they secure Rockets. Yeah, and he's, again, up top with Rockets, you don't really see people far outside of this area because you have the rockets which is what you want to make sure you secure those skills so i'd expect that he's gonna stay right there unfortunately his shield didn't get back in time he was taken down but scarvain finds that at all he's hitting the sniper shots as he's running around the map and now rotating back around to finish the kill he gets taken out i think his sniper was there as well so now all four dead let's see where they spawn fortunately for them to get the top spawn Display will be right behind him. Now Scarvain looking to make the jump. Oh, doesn't get to the mid gold. Instead, he's going to take gold ramp now. Follow his teammate all the way up open ramp in there. They end up seeing a couple members there at open, uh, all the way at the top of that open lift there. One gets taken out, so it's a 6 3 lead for Darkest Hour. No shields, wasting another rocket there. So, I mean, hey, that, that was a good play because either you have to push that. Uh, get that kill with no shield and try and force your hand at getting that rocket the rockets or you know back up and not get killed by the rockets as they were just you know knowing that they were seconds away from dying just waste the rockets at that point just try to do anything you can you're trying to get that kill and also you know if you're about to lose a power weapon you might as well just either drop it on the map or waste every shot you can look at display almost hitting the nastiest double <laughs> snipe we've seen all day and what a time it would have been to hit that yeah of course in this last series we have as the five that would have been huge and now they're going to drop down for camo to see if they can pick that up he is able up last player of guardians game now going to head him up lift and let's see where display is in display is right on open street still holding the sniper they should be able to get some shots off switch to display and see if he can finish that kill he gets the beat down wow i think that needs to be a trade that's a really big kill but then up by six ends up getting taken down we still have 30 seconds left and see the next rocket, which I know is going for them to push towards. Going for that top section now. Towards the open lift. Queen has to get some of those shields back. Oh my god! And she just witnessed her teammate get sniped out right there. Display. Look at that. They have twice as many kills right now as guardians and ooh the sneak attack coming up from behind they steal the sniper right back on the assassination so display just staying uh just staying stationary just way too long in that situation and i think yep Ian was able to walk away with the rockets and now she's going to wait in purple again making sure that she's in the surrounding area and you really do notice these top tier players keeping the rockets in close quarters knowing that they want to put each one that's exactly what they're doing right now she should be able to help out and be just for a second there was caught off guard now she's one shot with rockets thankfully employees standing next to her teammate just in case she loses them there yeah so that was a close call for her and now she's getting shot from all angles ends up dropping rockets i don't think that we're going to see them be able to get those now that's swing there scarvain yep. with eight shots of sniper they win this map I, rockets. they win the map already i mean they they took full rockets from them none of them were used after that long hold on them they they were able to still get them and now with the, such a big lead twice as many kills right now there you go you have custom power up down there waiting waiting to see if somebody's going to scoop it up yeah, and i i might be there it should actually be camo in the other spot but i don't think either of them are going to ask for a refit at this point. Late in the bracket, but yeah. he's going to push down toward that display. Still does have the run. He's got some shots. And it oh seems like my god. Play to now, interesting that this is here. This one out. See what happens. 
All right, so we're gonna do a restart to make sure that we continue this series even longer. So we're gonna kick this over to us as we wait to see how this will get handled. It's most likely gonna be a restart of the map um, in this in this game five. So we're going to see what happens next. So we're just gonna take a quick break and we'll be back to you in a second. All right, looks like we are not going to take a break here. We're going to keep keep the game going just the way it was here. Looks like that there was just a minor discrepancy with between the uh, place, the uh, selection, or the place of the camo on the map. Um, just happened to be in the wrong spot here, but both teams uh, just had a quick discussion here. They already know where the placement is, so they're just going to continue the map as is, as we are very late into the tournament. Jumping up, getting the Rockets back for his team. Oh, and down he goes. Oh, and now more more picks coming back and forth here. Scarfing going to maintain at least control. Dropping down to the bottom sword leg, seeing if he can look below where Donut is. Only four kills separate Darkest Hour from pushing this to potentially the final map of the night. But we already know that. If they win this map, Guardians is going to win the next one. We've already established the future, so it's okay. Five minutes remaining. Yeah. Actually try to hit that corner, doesn't get it, and tries to fire at his feet. Does get that kill, though. So they do know that they had to make that happen regardless. They, they had just way too much pressure happening on that moment. So now Queen going to be at the top goal with the camo. Still getting shot. They spotted her right off the bat. She connects with a... Either, I don't know if that was a four shot. No, she actually did have some help from her teammate in the back there. So 22-19. Darkest hour in control, but... For how much longer? They both hit up gold lift. That's going to be very aggressive, and that was perfect, perfect timing for both of them to pop up there and get that easy kill. So now it's only going to be two kills remaining for them to pull off this map as well. Let's see where the next shots come in. They're going to throw that long. Did he? Oh, I thought maybe he got a stick, but no. Instead, it's going to be one kill remaining now. 24, and that's going to be it. 25, darkest hour walking away. 25 to 19, and now. We could potentially be heading into the final map of the series. Let's see if Guardians is going to be able to pull this out and force it again to our 10th map of the Grand Finals. I mean, it, there's no other way as as a viewer, as a fan of Halo, that you could want this to go. Who wants to see quick 2-0s? I mean, really, especially when you're in Grand Finals, it's not fun. You, want, you don't want to see pure domination across the board. Yeah, that can be fun from time to time, but when it comes to the finals... I want to see close games. I want to see so. I want to see all the highlights. I want to see all the storylines just come to fruition right now. Yeah, I completely agree. And this seems like again, it's it's going the mile now. Um, it's yep. Two one up for Darkest Hour. They did lose in the second series. They came out of the losers bracket, come back against Guardians Gaming, and let them get right into this that next map on Guardians Gaming. Let's, oh no, it's they're on home field advantage. Yelling. True. <laughs> Exactly. Slayer.
Sniper and Camo in their possession. One kill lead for Darkest Hour. Which means if the power goes out, they win by default. <laughs> so hopefully we don't have anybody like earlier trying to unplug anything around here. Right now, one nothing lead for Darkest Hour. Make that a 2-0 lead. 2-1 back and forth here on the low side of the Sniper. Trying to fight it over under glass. And these two teams now, they, they know that this is, is coming down to the wire, essentially. Guardians Gaming, as frustrated as you could be, that this should be long gone for you guys. But man, you guys have now got to go the extra mile here against Darkest Hour. People that you thought you had gotten rid of earlier on in this day. Making his way down the elbow here. He actually drops his BR, uh, keeps the mauler and the sniper. So interesting pickup here. Uh, if he he does he, he pretty going shoddy snipers essentially with a uh, with the way that he's got his loadout. Uh, that's going to be the closest thing you get to the shotgun as well uh, when you have this hand this mauler in your hand. A lot of people just shoot melee, go for those uh, quick face uh, face to face kills. So as it comes down to here. We're going to see, uh, obviously, Camo coming into play at some point here near top goal. And there it is, there it is, popping up as soon as I spoke it into existence. getting killed, and I apologize, my mic was being, may have a silence again, sorry about that, but I am back and now it's a 6-5 match, darkest hour up, these games are going on, and I, I still expect this to go to a five for us, 6-5. Sniper. And those nades. Bombing those nades all the way from bottom blue across under glass and over to the stump area. Oh, and now he already finds one of them. That's going to be the carbide now doing enough damage to force him away. Oh, at least into that hiding spot for the time being. Look at this. He's going to get an easy double kill. Oh, looks like his teammate steals the double kill, but already did the damage there. That's exactly what they need. Oh, oh, oh Scarface gets I saved! What is that? The mini man cannon <laughs> saves him! He actually said I fell off the map. He thought he was in there, and yep. he does end up getting taken down, but uh, crazy play there that he stayed alive and displays looking up the second kill. At 10, 7, he'd end the spawn, and and seven in favor of Darkest Hour. Again, if they win this map, we'll be over them going home. Ash, make that 11 7. Yep. So, I think we need to watch out now that the camo is going to be coming up towards that in a second. Ooh. But they both down. Yeah, 11 to 9 now is your score. So, this is actually really, really hard to kind of gauge exactly. Who's going to walk away with this one? This momentum seems to be kind of shifting yet again back into Guardians. And now you have Guardians holding down. That's Queen holding down that camo. But where is she going to utilize it best here? Is she going to most likely take that over to blue lights? Take it down. Oh, and drop right in front of one of the players from Darkest Hour. Not able to utilize it. I mean, she jumped down there by herself, so uh, not not the best decision, I'd say, in that in that instance. Yeah, and a heads-up play, I think, from Darkest Hour to recognize that and take advantage of her being weak and stuck in that spot. I think earlier on in the moment, similar play paid off late in the game. Uh, in this case, it just it ended up going her way. Now we're having a third living game. Display, who's going to grab that sniper and as he has it. Look at see how this is going to play out. 
on this spot with the sniper in display's hands. And oh, I thought I was almost, I I, I almost felt like when he pre pre aimed there that he was going to get that headshot, but just shot a little bit too late. Look at that shot a little bit too late again. He is just barely missing. Hey, bit, better hand at the Scarvan. He called out on there as he ain't missing with the snipe. I don't know if that's going to carry over to this map, but he might need to, my little, little trade off uh, might be needed. Yeah, and I, I mean, again, if I'm Guardians, I don't like to see display up here with the sniper. I think he's getting shot soon. He has missed a couple of times. not see out of display. Most maps he's hitting a lot of shots with body and headshots. Nice to get that player down to the chill. Can't clean up those kills. He big kills. Guardians actually pull back into this a little bit. And again, be aware of the camo coming soon across the map. And that player top gold is going to be looking to grab that if they can grab this play. Now, oh my god, what a quick snipe there by display. Picking up that double kill from the top position of that sniper. And oh, getting a nice body shot, but also trying to over... Uh, looks like trying to get that quick scope there over to top blue, but he does drop the sniper and double kill coming in for Scarvane though, so that's a nice trade for both of them. Yeah, and now they take that 19 to 15 lead. Six more kills for them to walk away. Championship here. And Scarvane, they have both oh, here. Oh. oh. He does end up getting taken but still again. Hit that five. Still not afraid to play aggressive. Oh, little oh no. Action. Oh Ooh. no, he's already calling it to be over. But that's not possible. I, I expected 10 maps here. Yeah, I, I mean, you might surprisingly see this end here. Darkest hour. Or the... Dropped up recently. I'm not sure if this play rotated around to that. But I mean, they're up by six kills here. So I don't know. This is going to be a tough up for. See dark power finished. If you if you win go all the way through the winner's bracket, but then lose in a bracket reset, do you is that a choke in your eyes? I I, I would say that. I mean it's definitely hard. It's yeah. Being the favorite team, but yeah, it's tough to say, you know, making that losing bracket. Let's help to get the games in Oh they didn't get the kill! Interesting. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and that is gonna do it. Woo. Darkest Hour wraps it up. Resetting the bracket and pulling it off in four maps, winning three to one in the grand finals and walking oh. away here with eight hundred dollars cash. Yeah, and we're seeing handshakes all around. I mean this was just a friendly, you know, competition. 